right, everybody. So people had asked if I was going to show how I did the design that I made for the T-shirt um, that I had posted pictures of a little bit back uh, for Masters Lawn and Lawn Care. Uh, it was a T-shirt design that I made and did uh, heat transfer vinyl with it. So on the left here, um, that's generally the design. I recreated it here just as an example to show uh, the process here. Um, and so I already had got some things prepared for this. Um, I just basically typed out all the different elements of the design here. The font that I use here is uh, Beyondy, um, and then don't really necessarily worry about the uh, the font size. Um, so I have the masters here, have the M, which I'm going to make right here, which is going to make I'm going to make it large a lot larger. Uh, the L, and then all I did was make another L, and then I went up to here, um, object mirrored it and then flipped it horizontally to make it go backwards. Your uh, and symbol here, and then lawn and landscaping, which would go in the, in the smaller one there, and then you'll just shrink that there. Um, and so what I did here, so a couple different things. So for the masters to get it so that it would be a cutout um, over this, and then when you weed it, you can weed out this part right here around the letters to create kind of that um, uh, space or hollow image there. What you have to do, or what at least I did, is I took the... Um, uh, the characters um, and then I increase the character spacing a little bit because what I'm going to do after that to make it fit uh, so let's just say 125 uh, percent character spacing um, and then so what I did after that is I took masters and then I did a um, an offset okay so that but that's kind of big and bubbly don't necessarily want that I want the sharp edges because of the edges there and then what I did was reduce the offset uh, I think it was to 0 0.04, if I remember correctly. 0 0.04. Oops. 0.04. Okay. Um, and so that created kind of the the outline or the the shadow, if you will, for that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole thing here. And I'm going to group it so that it's one image or one item here instead of separate images because each one of those um, uh, surrounding parts would be a, a separate image there. Um, the lawn and landscaping, let me move this out of the way for now. Um, just kind of get that out of the way. And the masters, I'll we'll just kind of put down here for now. And then the L and L, we'll just move it down here for now. Okay. So to get this here, uh, the big M here, let's see. Um, what I did right now, it's still a text. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and convert it to a path. That way it makes it basically an image, um, and now I can't change it into a text again or retype it. Uh, but what you'll notice here is you'll have the uh, width and the height locked with a locked aspect ratio. And what that means is if you change one of these factors here, uh, say height, for example, the width will change uh, in equal proportion as well. If you unlock it and you adjust just the height, it'll get taller without getting any wider and vice versa. So I'm locking it so that it maintains a proportion. You may want to unlock it and adjust the, um, the lettering to your liking. So if you wanted it skinnier, for example, um, you could do that. So let's see, I have it unlocked and I just want it skinnier. I want it same height, but let's say I only want it 3.5 inches. I'll do that. All right, so that's just a demonstration of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock that again. Uh, and in order to create this kind of look here, what I did was um, I basically did what's called a, uh, a knockout. So you'll want to generally place um, the masters or whatever word you want over this and then kind of adjust and play with the size on, on how big you want this or not. Um, so that looks about right there. I'm not going to make it exactly the same as the one on the left. I'm just showing this to you for demonstration purposes. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of these here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this alignment here to make sure that the M and the masters are centered over each other, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna select the masters, and I'm gonna hold down my shift button and then select the M to, to grab both of those. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my modify panel here. I'm gonna go to my modify panel and then I'm going to do subtract all. So if you kind of look at the image, you can see what it's going to do. It's going to leave 
the image that's on top and the image on bottom with the space or a ghost kind of area in between. So that's what I'm going to do here. So hit that subtract all. Um, oops, let me back that up here. Control Z will be your undo. Or your undo. So what I'm going to do, actually, what I need to do is the masters, I want it on top um, because I want that to cut out over the M. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to the top or bring to the front. Think of this in layers. And then, so that means the master, the big M is on the bottom uh, with the masters bring, uh, brought up to the front. And for good measure, if you want, you can put the M, send it to the back. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing again where I'm going to select the, ma the masters, hold my shift button down, hit the M, and then I'm going to hit subtract all. And there we go. All right, um, take that off. And just so you can see, what it did was exactly what that kind of is trying to demonstrate. For, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll show you. Just move the masters out of there, and you can see what it did. So let me put that back like that. Now, because I have that together, I want to go ahead and group that so now that it moves as one piece. All right, so that master's piece there is done. So if you kind of think about this, what's happening here is uh, for cutting out purposes and, and weeding purposes, if you... Um, notice the lines here you have cut out here and then you have the letter inside so when you weed it you're basically weeding this part in between here and then on the A this part here you're leaving that small triangle there weeding that out leaving the letter and then weeding this out of the big M there all right so hopefully that makes sense now what I'm going to do here is take this L um, convert its path because uh, right now it's just a text letter and so now I have the ability to, as you notice up here, change the ratios. I'm going to make it about, let's say, 3.5 inches. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of move it around to where I, where I like or where I want it, right there. I'm going to do the same thing for this L over here, or this reverse L. Remember what I did was I, uh, basic to make it backwards, I went to object, mirrored, and then flipped it horizontally. Uh, you can see I just did that again. Control Z to undo. So since I made this one 3.5 inches wide, selecting this one here, I'm going to make this do the same thing here. 3.5 inches wide. All right. So now I'm just going to take that and I'm going to move it roughly in place where I want it. Now what you can do is hold your shift button down or just select just these two items here. And then you can use this alignment tool here to kind of make sure that they're level uh, even with each other going uh, horizontally. Now as far as spacing goes here and here between the two, I didn't. I just eyeballed it. If you really wanted to get technical about it, what you could do is go to your, um, oh, what is that, The uh, this panel here, and then turn your grid, your grid on, and then you can use the grid lines to help you um, align everything up there. I took it off just for the purposes of making this video to make it easier to show you uh, what it all looked like. Um, okay, so back to this. I'm going to move it over just a little bit more just because eyeballing it looks like it's a little bit not quite as uh, symmetrical. Now I'm going to take this and symbol and I'm just going to kind of move it there and if you want to make it right dead smack centered with the, um, the masters and the M combination here you can just shifts or uh, hold on your button select basically it's like in this group and the and go to your alignment tool and align it vertically all right so basically you can see i have the design pretty much set up already now for the lawn and landscaping i left this as text so if i click it once it looks like it's an image but if i double click it if i double click it you see it's text now I want it to be able to fit in here just like I did in here. So what I'm going to do is, since it is text, I'm going to go to this box here, your text box, uh, and I'm going to select it down to, I think it was down to 24. So just type that in. All right. So I'm going to move that. I grab it. I'm going to move it in here. Oops. I'll click that and just move it as in like that as an image. All right. Boom. So that fits like that. Do the same thing for this guy here. Take that, bring this down to 24, and then I'm going to go ahead and move it in here. 
And because lawn is significantly smaller than landscaping, again, I'm kind of eyeballing it here as far as centering it within the horizontal piece of the L. All right. Now, but I do want to make sure that the lawn and the landscaping are horizontally level together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select lawn, hold my shift button down, and then I'm going to click landscape. That way it just selects the lawn and the landscaping. Click my alignment tool. Click my alignment tool. Go to the alignment uh, horizontally. And boom. And you can see that it basically aligned it um, both together like that. Now, if, if you, you can adjust this to the style or the size that you want, and you can change this here to make it shorter, wider, or whatever. You can change the font, what have you. Uh, but you can see, basically, I have essentially finished the design here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tweak it just a touch more. I'm going to make this and symbol about, uh, let's say, an inch wide. See how that adjusts the height. Now, you can do it the other way if you want to. You can just manually do it, but I'm going to do it here. It's 0.79 inches. Let's make it an even one inch wide, and that makes it a little bit wider. All right. So super easy, super quick, super simple. Um, so all I'm doing right now is I'm just grouping it so it's one image. So if you did want to move it around, you can do like that. Um, or if you wanted to adjust the size to make it bigger or smaller. Um, for example, I made this uh, a total of, uh, I think, 11 inches wide for the cutout when I cut the HTV. And so if you group everything together and make it one image, you can then... Um, adjust the size all at one time and keeping the aspect ratio locked together and in check. Alrighty, so hopefully this video was instructive and informative, showed you a couple features such as the um, bringing things to front, sending things to the back, doing a subtract all, um, resizing, and then um, object mirroring. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications whenever I post any new content. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.